Well, let's take a look at what's new in SOLIDWORKS Visualize 2018. We'll go ahead and open up the SOLIDWORKS model. We can now choose to import predefined views, cameras and lights directly from the SOLIDWORKS model into Visualize. The lights from SOLIDWORKS appear on the Scenes tab and are off by default. However, we can take those lights and we can enable them to illuminate our scene. We can also start to change the parameters of the light, so things like the brightness and the position of the light relative to the model. For the SOLIDWORKS views, we go to the Camera tab and the four views have been imported uh, within here. And again, we can select those views and we can start to change the parameters of those views should we see fit. There have been a lot of updates to the user interface. We see greater spacing between the tabs on the right hand side. And rather than uh, a long menu within here, we see a number of sub menus um, which allow us to access the commands that we want to get to faster and easier. They've also tidied up the right click menu. So again, we can just see a number of sub menus within there and access the item that we want to get to much quicker and easier than we could before. Standard orthographic views are now available from the heads up toolbar, bringing it in line with the SOLIDWORKS user interface. And we also have the ability to access isometric views from all four corners of the model as well as lock the camera from here too. If we go into our options, we can set themes for the user interface. I'm gonna to go to the light theme here because I prefer it and it brings it in line with the other SOLIDWORKS tools. We'll just switch to a camera five here and we'll go to our file libraries. We can now access SOLIDWORKS appearances directly from here which we couldn't before. So I'll just apply a couple of appearances from here. Like so. We'll switch to the light view. And within here, we're actually going to create a light. So I'll switch to the scenes tab. I'll right click and I'll select new light. This gives me the option to pick target and all I do is pick on the face of the model and it will generate a light normal to that face. What it's actually doing here is generating an emissive plane. So a plane that emits light. Now, if we have a look at this in a bit more detail, it's not visible at the moment. If we wanted to show it, we just turn it on like so. And then we have access to control the brightness of the light as well as the temperature and its size. We can also control its position relative to the model, like so. And there are a number of different shapes that we can choose for this light. It doesn't have to be a plane. So it could be a sphere, a disc, or a tube. So if we were trying to create a strip light in a kitchen, for example, we could choose the tube and then just reduce the radius of that to suit. I'm just gonna change its position relative to the model. So we'll just swing it around like so. And what's quite nice here is we can always use the pick target tool to reestablish the position of the light at any time, should we wish to. SOLIDWORKS Visualize is very good for creating panoramic views and VR content. Here we have a panoramic view of the kitchen assembly from the tracker model. Effectively here, it's been unrolled from its spherical state. However, if we want to view it in its spherical mode, we can go to the cameras tab, onto the 360 tab, and then preview the 360 panorama. This gives us a good preview of what the model or what the render is going to look like when we finally push it out for rendering. We also have the ability here to create stereo images for things like Google Cardboard, as well as images or renders for 3D. We have a look at a couple of examples of outputted renders. You can see here we've got an entire tracker model that's been rendered out as a panoramic and you can see it's quite nice to just zoom around that model and have a good look at what's going on.
Here we have a rendered output onto a VR device. And then finally, we've imported a solar study from SolidWorks into Visualize. And the user is able to pan around the uh, image, having a look at the render while that animation is running. So some really high quality outputs are available from Visualize Professional. So if we switch back to the PowerPoint, we can reuse our SolidWorks appearances inside Visualize. We can reuse our SolidWorks views and cameras. We've refreshed the user interface. There are new area lights available in Visualize Professional, and there are various virtual reality options available in Visualize Professional too. That brings us to the end of our second session. Thank you.